around the world, temperatures have hit record highs. We've seen more intense heat waves, more extreme weather, and more heat-related deaths. In tonight's Project Earth, some are calling for drastic measures to cool the Earth. And Nakovic reports on the controversial method taking flight right here in the Bay Area. High up in the hills near Silicon Valley, a controversial mission involving a weather balloon will soon take flight. Go ahead and start it slowly. Okay. What's getting pumped inside the expanding globe? Turn it up a bit more, please. Two gases, sulfur dioxide and helium. Three, two, one. The helium will carry this balloon more than 12 miles above the surface of the Earth into the stratosphere. Once there, the balloon bursts, releasing the sulfur dioxide. The belief is that the gas turns into an aerosol, which will bounce the sunlight back into space, cooling the planet. That gas reacts with other things to form clouds that reflect a little bit of sunlight back into space before it can warm Earth. The strategy seeks to temporarily cool the planet as human activities continue to warm it by burning fossil fuels. Much of the rest of the world is barreling ahead drilling, baby drilling, we need innovation for solutions as well because the problem's certainly getting worse. Even if we magically can stop burning fossil fuels tomorrow and somehow have some other mag magical energy to replace it, um, there will still be warming. Since 2022, Luke Eisman and Andrew Song from the startup Make Sunsets have launched more than 80 balloons. The concept behind the method is based on the planet cooling effects of volcanic eruptions. A good example is the massive eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991. It injected 15 million tons of sulfur dioxide aerosols into the stratosphere, dropping temperatures around the world. Pinatubo actually cooled the Earth by about a three-tenths of a degree Celsius or half a degree Fahrenheit for several years after the eruption. Dr. William Collins is with Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory and a top expert on aerosols and climate change science. So we know these aerosols can cool the climate. And the question that people are now asking is, could we do that artificially? Another question, what about the risks Make Sunsets is not alone in this endeavor. Larger entities around the world are also looking into using this technology. We're opposed to deployment at this stage. Lisa Dilling is an associate chief scientist with the Environmental Defense Fund. The nonprofit is financing scientific research into artificial cooling technologies. The goal is to identify and better understand any unknown risks or side effects. We feel we need to understand a whole a lot more about this uh, before we can and uh, even know if it's even a viable uh, technology. As for Eisman and Song, their endeavors are not illegal, and they're selling cooling credits to help fund the project. The team is willing to share its data with scientists, but not willing to stop the launches. We can't let concern about impacts be an excuse for inaction, or, you know, we end up with more intense versions of all of the problems that we already have. A high-flying idea that's launching heavy debate back on Earth.